Today I'm going to take a crack at Avenues Online Save the World Challenge. I'll tell you a little bit more about them later. They're an awesome school that has an interesting application project where you have to save the world. Like really. One of their challenges is what you would do to try to stop a deadly asteroid from hitting the Earth. On February 15, 2013, a small meteor around 18 meters in diameter grazed the Earth's atmosphere in rural Russia at a shallow angle. It was going about 69,000 kilometers an hour. To give you an idea how fast this is, this ping pong ball is only going 1,200 kilometers an hour. So the meteor was going about 60 times faster than this. So when it hit the atmosphere, it exploded with an energy around 25 times stronger than the nuclear bomb dropped at Hiroshima. Luckily, there were only injuries and no deaths from the shock wave. The only reason there were no deaths, though, is because of the shallow angle and how high up it exploded in the atmosphere. If it had hit the Earth straight on in a populated area, it could have been much worse. And this was only a tiny asteroid. There's no doubt there will be more asteroids that hit the Earth sometime. And for the first time in history, we may have a chance at stopping it from happening. But how? Well, I'm sure you've seen or heard of the movie Armageddon. In this movie, the idea is to travel to the asteroid and put a nuclear bomb in the asteroid and split it apart and change the trajectory enough so it doesn't hit the Earth. Now, could this work? Well, maybe, but as you may have seen in the movie, it's a bit hard to land on an asteroid, drill into it, and set off a nuclear bomb. Do we have other options? Well, what about lasers? Remember, light doesn't have any mass, but it does have energy and momentum. So that means when light hits something, it actually does move it a little bit. So let's see if we can take my one watt laser here and see the force on the scale. Okay, here we go. It's at zero right now and Still zero. <laughs> so this is extremely hot. You can see we can instantly burn this glove here. But still, all of this light does nothing to push the scale down more to register more weight. That's because even though the laser is extremely bright and can even burn things, the momentum of the photons just is so minuscule that it doesn't show up on the scale. Even if I had a million of these aimed at the scale, it would only increase the weight by about the weight of an ant. So we aren't going to be moving an asteroid very easily by hitting them with lasers due to the momentum of the photons. But we can use this extreme heat that happens when we heat up an object. We can cause something called ablation. Ablation happens when you blast something with an extreme amount of heat so it causes very hot gases and plasma to form and be ejected from the object. Now I don't have a powerful enough laser to cause ablation here. But I have the next best thing. This is my giant Fresnel lens. This will magnify the sunlight on this entire area down to a point, so I can instantly heat things up. Very hot. You can see how hot this is. Look what happens when I put this piece of wood in here. It instantly starts on fire. So I can instantly burn anything that passes through the light, but what happens when I stick a mini asteroid here, also known as a rock? I'm going to put this light filter over the camera so it's a little bit less bright. We might be able to see it better. You can see nothing happens at first, but after a while, material starts to be ejected from the surface of the rock. This happens due to water that instantly boils and other gases that break apart the rock due to the expanding volume and shoot it off. So it creates a little jet of particles coming off the rock. If this was even hotter, in addition to these little tiny rock particles, we would also get a plasma jet coming off of it. So you have essentially created a mini rocket on the side of the rock. Now this doesn't create a whole lot of thrust, but it's orders of magnitude more than the momentum of the light hitting it. So with laser ablation, you can actually change the direction of an asteroid in space and knock it out of a particular orbital that's going to hit Earth. So this is just one of many ways that we could potentially deflect an asteroid. But I'm sure there are a lot of great ideas out there that we haven't heard of yet. That's why I want to tell you about the sponsor for this video, Avenues Online and their Save the World Challenge. Avenues Online is an accredited top-tier private school designed for students from toddler through 12th grade who want to pursue a world-class education freed from the constraints of a physical school. Avenues Online allows you to study with students living in six continents and more than 20 countries. They offer flexible schedules and personalized calendars to allow students to pursue other activities. Education happens at Avenues Online through project-based learning. Avenues Online's learning platform was designed by its very own R&D team. They embrace science and technology in a big way. 
Avenues Online even made a study bot to help students with their work. It's really cool. Let me ask it some questions. Hey Savvy, could an asteroid actually hit Earth? The Save the World Challenge is part of the application process at Avenues Online. The students take the challenge as part of the application process because it mimics how schools work at Avenues Online. So you can learn more about the Save the World Challenge and see if you can come up with a novel idea. To learn more, go to avenues.org slash the Action Lab. And thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, remember to subscribe and check out theactionlab.com for Action Lab experiment kits. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.